Next step in the process is to rebuild and replace our micro switch. Our micro switch is what's activated by the cam lever on the FCS, which is the electric assist for the pump motor assembly. If I rotate the cam, like I'm doing so now, you'll see the lever rotates up, it locks into place, and when it does so, that mechanical function transfers over to our micro switch. And you can actually hear it clicking. And there's a little portion right here, which is a tab, that is pushed up and it activates the electric pump motor assembly. So the FCS is kind of unique. It's more like a manual electric assist, which is really nice on the hands. It's not like a traditional style Leva machine, which we have here, which has an immense amount of pressure. This would be a traditional manual machine. It takes quite a bit of energy to push it down and releasing it. It's extremely spring-loaded. You can see that's pretty hefty. Uh, just by me letting it go. So the difference is, is pretty uh, immense between a San Marco manual and a traditional manual machine. Again, these are more of an electric assist. Uh, over here we have our old switch assembly. Uh, this is the old tired 20-year-old micro switch and we go through the process of replacing even these components. Um, here's our new micro switch and we'll go ahead and put that uh, in place of this old unit uh, over on the bench. And here we've got our new micro switch uh, fitted to the bracket and we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. And we've got our nuts held in by the vise here. Now there's an adjustability scale in this switch. Uh, it can actually rock up slightly in the chassis or rock down. And we usually set it right to the middle or closest to the top. Um, we're going to pan out and flip this over. Okay, and here we have the back of it. And you can kind of see that there's an adjuster uh, space area here. And usually we set it to the closer top area uh, or right in the center here and that pretty much sets the default setting for the micro switch and this is a new micro switch assembly going to go back into the machine and now you can see we've got our micro switch mounted uh, all wired in and basically ready to operate when this rotates use our dummy handle here <clears throat> when this rotates it's going to come up and it's going to activate the switch now see this one it's activating it right about there. I prefer it to activate it a little higher. Kind of like this switch. There's a little bit of play and then it kicks on. So we'll have to go through and make some minor adjustments uh, to this manual group and get the timing set right for both of these. So they kind of operate at the same point. Um, you know, all through adjusting of this bracket assembly here and that space that we were talking about. Uh, you know, these are a simple design, but they are kind of complicated if you don't know your way around the group and how it's built. Uh, so there's a lot of lubrication points here that have to be serviced and kept up when the technician comes out to work on these groups um, here and here on the forks. This is the exhaust fork for the tube. It's all one piece, and any sort of excess espresso gets purged out of this exhaust tube. Um, on both sides, of course. And all these lever assemblies have to be lubricated and taken care of. Uh, so whenever you have your technicians come out to service this, everything needs to be lubed uh, that's moving, any sort of moving components, the sliders as well uh, on the FCS series. It's part of keeping this thing in top operation. Um, the other aspect is going to be the adjustability here of these exhaust valves. Now, these actually seat the internal seal uh, on both of these. So your adjustability point here is crucial to getting the right amount of exhaust dump um, and, and retention for water uh, when it's extracting. Because if you get this setting incorrect and you try and extract um, 